Welcome to Postbox ASC in the series of data warehousing and le uh, mining lectures. In this session, we are going to see the third way of uh, partitioning algorithm. Partition algorithm, there are three ways as I told you. One is k-min, second one is k-midoids and third one is uh, this one, uh, clustering large applications. Now we are going to see the clustering of large applications. Before that, we need to understand what is the drawback with the first application, that is first method, that is k-min method. K-min method is very good method, but if you have a different set of values, for example, if a person in a company is getting a 5,000 salary and if the other person who is getting in the same company is getting 5 lakh salary, there is a large difference and if you want to make the clusters, with only single cluster out of this, what we need to do is we need to calculate 5, we need to add this 5 and 5 lakh divided by 2 and we need to select the mean point and from there we need to form the cluster which is not good solution okay, for different set of values. And if you have different set of values, we used to go for k-miroid method. K-miroid method is very good, but the problem with this is we cannot handle this with the large database. Okay, and to handle the large database, uh, we need to go for this Klarna's uh, method. What it will do is, it is also a simple partition large algorithm, large data, large database partitioning of large database. The idea behind this is instead of taking the whole set of data into consideration we can take a small portion of the actual data is chosen okay medoids can be uh, chosen from this sample using pam and then <coughs> we'll be applying this pam method that is nothing but the uh, previous method k-medoids method and we'll try to form the clusters after that we can set we can keep on keep on keep on inserting the new elements into this clusters right instead of selecting the whole solve whole large database we will select the part on that we will be applying midoids will be form the clusters and then again then again we will be adding some more elements right now it becomes o of k s 2 plus k of n minus n is the formula which we will be using for the iteration s is the size of the sample n is the k is the number of customers n is the total number of objects right we can improve the quality and scalability of uh, clustering large application based upon rean randomized search uh, clara has a fixed sample at each stage of search drawn some randomness at each stage of search the computation complexity is about o of n square where n is the number of the objects the main concept behind this you need to understand this Whenever there is a large database, which is better to go for this method. When is there is a small database with a different set of values, then we go for the k-midoids. Whenever there is a database with uh, similar elements, nearby elements, then we need to go with the k-min method. And this method is suitable for the large application. Thank you very much.